it's cold outside and maybe I'm just fine the way I am and maybe my coffee is cold and maybe I'm too old to ride the swings at the fair hey guys so today I'm going to be doing a video on my top fall nail polishes and like kind of the nail polish trends for this year um, so yeah, I'm going to jump right in. I think I have a little more than 10, but whatever. I mean, we all love nail polish, right? So who cares? Okay, so the first trend is like metallics and like jewel tones. And those are pretty much just like the standard fall trend, I guess, every year. Like jewel tones and whatever is always in. So anyways, <laughs> I'm just going to jump right in. I have five for this little category to show you. The first one is from the new um, China Glaze collection for fall, and this is the color Don't Make Me Wine. And it's a gorgeous kind of, it's like a metallic burgundy, has like a hint of a gold, um, not shimmer, because I mean, it doesn't show up on your nails, but it's just like, when it hits the light, you can see a tiny bit of gold, but I don't know. It's a really gorgeous like burgundy purple red color um, wine as the name says so really gorgeous for fall and I feel like this would be really good for winter as well and the next is from the same collection and it's the color tongue-in-cheek and it's this gorgeous teal kind of like peacock blue green color it's really really pretty on and this is a color that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards and I'm trying to kind of like expand my horizons because I always buy the same colors. I always buy like purples and blues and greens and like metallics. I'm looking at my collection right now like what do I have the most of? I have a ton of like mint polishes like I have like 20. I have enough to last me the rest of my life but anyways so yeah this gorgeous jewel tone like blue green is amazing. I tried it on. By the way, these two are both like one coat polishes. You don't need two coats. I mean, you could. I mean, I'm the kind of person that I'll just do two coats anyways, but most people probably wouldn't feel the need to do two coats with it. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. And the next one I have, um, I feel bad saying that those ones are part of this trend because they're like limited edition fall colors, but I mean, you can always find them online anyways. Anyways, so I have a permanent collection nail polish, and this is OPI Ink. This is one of my all-time favorite polishes. Um, it's a gorgeous blue-purple with some like gold shimmer to it. I'll show it to you up close. I don't know. Yeah, it's just looking navy on camera, but it's like changes from blue to purple, and it's just so, so gorgeous. So pretty, especially for like the colder months. And the next one is my all-time favorite polish because this is my favorite color and it's China Glaze Frostbite. This is my favorite color, this shade of blue. And this one takes about two coats or so, two to three, it depends on how thin you do your coats. And you can find dupes for this color, like I know Sally Hansen Hard as Nails has one, Essie has one, so you can find this color in like any brand pretty much. But it's just a gorgeous cobalt blue. Love that. And then the last one, I had to include a purple polish, and I just recently found this one. <laughs> I wish it came in a bigger bottle because I have been on the hunt for this like perfect purple shade because it's like my favorite shade of purple, and anytime I buy it in another brand, it takes like four coats. But it's the Sally Girl nail polish, and it's showing up kind of blue on camera. It's more purple, but it is in the color. Let's see, where is it? One thing I don't like about these polishes, I can never find where the color is. I found it the other day, I swear. Okay, well maybe this one doesn't have a color, but it's amazing. And they have another one um, that's like uh, glitter, but it's like this shade of purple and like blue glitter. It's, it's so pretty on top of this, so really love this, and it's like a dollar, so really affordable. Okay, the next trend is like metallics and kind of shade shifter um, polishes. So I only have one shade shifter and it's OPI Just Spotted the Lizard and it's from the Spider-Man collection. And this goes from gold to blue to green, like it is 
absolutely gorgeous on the nails. I have a picture on my Instagram from a long time ago of me wearing this inside and outdoors, so I will insert that picture pretty much right after I'm done talking about this, and you can see what it looks like. So, yeah, really love these shade shifting polishes for the fall time. Okay, and the second metallic that I'm going to be talking about is by Julep, and it is the color Rachel. And it is, like, the truest fall color you could ever put on your nails. It is, like, a pumpkin-y, copper shade. It is so pretty. It literally looks like you melted a penny and painted your nails with it. Like, it is gorgeous. And again, this isn't a color I would no normally reach for, but um, it came in, like, one of my Julep Maven boxes, and I was like, oh, I'll try it out. And I was blown away at how gorgeous this was. So... Just a really pretty copper metallic shade. And the next trend is glitter, and glitter has been in for a few years now, you know, doing like an accent nail, but this year I found that the more popular glitter styles, I guess, were like the round, like polka dot type glitters and flaky polishes. So I have one of each here. One is the Maybelline Color Show Sequins, and this is in the color. Um, Sapphire Masquerade. This was a limited edition, but again, you can find these polka dot ones. Pretty sure Maybelline just came out with a polka dot collection. So this one is like blue and red, which are really pretty for fall. So I think this would look really good over that China Glaze Frostbite. So love this. And the flaky polish that I want to talk to you about is by the brand Joe Fresh. You unfortunately can't get this outside of Canada. But this color is freaking amazing. I have it on my nails right now. It's in the color Twilight. Changes. It's like literally a rainbow when you look at it in the bottle. On your nails, it's more like green, orange, and yellow is what it changes from. But in the bottle, you can kind of see a hint of blue. And it's just like a dark gray base um, with a bunch of different colored flakies kind of suspended in it. And I do layer this over a dark polish um, because if I do this on its own, it's kind of sheer. Like the base color is sheer. So I will just give you a close-up of my nails. I don't think this is going to do it justice, but I also have a picture on my Instagram, and I have this layered over OPI Lincoln Park After Dark. Okay, and the next trend for fall has been matte nails, or will be matte nails, because it's not technically fall yet, but I'm getting into fall colors, so right now it's matte nails. Um, and I have a matte top coat because I don't really see the point in buying matte polishes when you can just spend money on one top coat and then make all of your current polishes matte. That's just me though. I mean some people might find a matte polish that they fall in love with and might want to buy it and that might even happen to me too. I might contradict myself later. I don't know. But the matte top coat that I have is by OPI and I just bought this when I was at like a, um, a beauty supply outlet with um, my friend who's a hairdresser, so it was like six dollars instead of like ten or eleven. So yeah, um, I know Essie carries one, that Joe Fresh brand carries one, like a lot of brands are starting to come out with them now, so if you like the matte nail trend, then go ahead and pick one up. The next trend for fall, which again has been a trend for several years, is neutrals. So the first one is just like a classic, like Seriously, everyone talks about this like every single year, and it's OPI, you don't know Jacques. It's just like a gray-brown color. It's really pretty, really, I don't know, like it stands out, but it's like office appropriate if you have an office job. So I really, really like this color. And the next one is Essie Saint Tropez, which is a nude, and again, really pretty office appropriate. Um doesn't draw too much attention to the nails, but it's just very classic and clean looking. And the last nude that I have to talk about is Essie Chinchilli, which is a really gorgeous, like, gray plum neutral. I don't know. Um, I really, really love this color. It's just, it's one of my favorite ones to wear. I love it. Every time I, like, if I don't know what to wear on my nails, like, around this time of year, um, I'll just put this one on. This or a red. And the red that I've been loving lately, because you can't have fall nail polishes without a red. And I didn't see anything about, like, red nails being on trend, because I think they're just on trend pretty much all year, but especially, like, fall and winter. And my current favorite is OPI Skyfall. It's just a really pretty, like, um, like, blood red color. 
and I just really like it and it kind of matches my hair. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been really I've been really into reds lately. I never used to like red nail polish, but lately I've just been getting more into it and finding reds that I love. So yeah, those are my top 10 favorite fall nail polishes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any favorites, then leave them in the comments below because I am always looking to buy new nail polish. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. But what's stopping me from doing what I please? If I want to, I'll ride the kitty swing.